Look at that view. You don't get that anywhere else. What you can't see is how vulnerable it all is. My farm, the food system, the environment. The thing that worries me most is that we're heading towards a phosphorus crisis. But it barely gets talked about. Just left for someone else to sort out. Who is someone else? It's not just me, I can tell you that. We can't grow food without phosphorus. And in the UK, we, theoretically, have enough of it already circulating in our food system. But instead, we depend on the phosphate reserves of other countries. Half of our feed and all of our fertiliser is imported. These sources of phosphate rock took tens of millions of years to form. It is a finite resource and our access to it is under threat. As well as an environmental issue, this is also a business risk. A sharp increase in the price of phosphate rock could force global cereal, milk and meat prices to inflate by as much as 30%. This would, in turn, hike up UK prices. Of the 174,000 tonnes of imported phosphorus in fertilisers, feed and food, at least 57% of it is wasted. A value chain this inefficient doesn't make commercial sense. This waste is currently lost, polluting our waters and damaging our ecosystem. For instance, up to three quarters of England's rivers and lakes fail to meet water regulations. Phosphorus is the most common culprit. So how did we get here? For tens of thousands of years, humans survived by following a simple, sustainable biochemical cycle. But as we've advanced in technology, public health and food production, we've broken it. That doesn't mean we have to go back to the dark ages. We just need to do what we do best. Innovate. Farmers must use renewable fertilisers. Well, that's easier said than done. Yeah, the stuff I use might be mined in Africa, shipped over on umpteen boats, acidified, granulated, stuck in a bag and carted about on a load of lorries. But if it's cheaper, what choice do I have? Of course I'm going to choose that. Even if I know the right thing to do is use the recycled stuff from down the road. I'm running a business. It's hard enough as it is to stay competitive. We can't expect farmers alone to lead the change. Change needs to happen across the whole system. By adapting policies and removing the barriers, all sectors could work together in harmony. And in some places, transformation is already happening. In Northern Ireland, policymakers are enabling farmers to prepare their own nutrient management plans and ultimately save money. Soil testing identifies plant available phosphorus in the ground, reducing or even removing the need to add the mineral to fertilizer. If more farmers use these soil phosphorus reserves, the demand for UK imports could be reduced, as well as phosphorus pollution. Wastewater companies in the Midlands and South East are already selling wastewater derived phosphorus. It's important to encourage the recycling and not just removal of phosphorus, so we can scale up the production of renewable fertilizer. We're sitting on a gold mine of phosphorus. By finding smart ways to tap into the phosphorus in our soil and waste, we can create an efficient and sustainable system. A circular value chain makes good business sense, benefiting regions all over. We could fix the imbalances across the UK. Phosphorus recovered from manure and waste could be moved between regions, 
reducing water pollution in the areas with an excess, and improving soil quality in places where phosphorus is in high demand. Phosphorus is a vital resource, no different from water or energy. If oil stockpiles are a symbol of our national security, who's safeguarding our phosphorus supply? Hmm? The whole of the UK's food security is in the hands of people like me. And that's what needs fixing. We need new governance, new initiatives and incentives for me to choose sustainable phosphorus products and practices. I want to be part of the change, but I need some support. Empower us. Enable us to innovate.